안녕하십니까? 3번 서울산성치과 원장 전진입니다. Hello, this is j e o n j i n I am from Seoul Samsung Clinic. We talked about theory of occlusion and implant setting last time, and today I'm going to talk about the occlusal schemes of various implant cases. So this is what I'm going to cover. First, I'm going to talk about mastectomy muscle functions and occlusion, and various occlusal schemes for implant prosthesis, and then I'll give you the summary. So, w e s t i c a t o r y muscle function and occlusion. So, in our body, both sides connected while moving. It's only the lower joint, the mandibular side. And like swing, you have joints and muscles on both sides and muscles. Uh, their muscle function when open and also when closed. Now, patients uh, protruding the jaw and only uh, touches the anterior side, then closed function doesn't work. Only posterior when contact uh, comes in close, the closed side also comes in action. So, through various harmonies, uh, it's very important is stable for the stability of the jaw muscle. Otherwise, the balance will break and resulting jaw pain. So the posterior side, if the discloses more than two thirds of the uh, closed muscle, will relax. So the uh, good interference is very interference. So what is difference between guidance and interference? The commonality is that teeth comes into contact in case of eccentric movement. So eccentric movement is not in the center point. It includes all the activities. Uh, it includes the front side, lateral side, and also back side. So, what is the difference between guidance and interference, jaw joint and muscle? If it helps its balance and harmony, guidance. If it's not, doesn't. It's interference. In other words, it interferes. So, occlusal scheme for implant prosthesis. Canine guidance, canine's uh, vertical horizontal coverage discloses a posterior side in case of mandibular lateral uh, movement. It reduces headless horizontal pressure for the rest of the teeth. So for the canine, it's one of teeth that is far away from the strength point, so it has an ideal condition to for the load of the occlusion. So it's very long. And also compared to the crown, and it has a very dense a b i l l i a bone, so it can resist the uh, lateral force. And because of that, in case of full mouth uh, restoration or splint treatment, it's preferred option. The canine guidance. So patient occlusal scheme, if it's canine guidance, then it's like this. You have only a uh, closer on the lateral movement side. So if that's the case, the jaw uh, movement does not have to be complicatedly recorded. You can just use simple art calculator. The canine guidance is working well, so uh, there is less chance of interference in case of lateral movement. If the patient has canine guidance, then in restoration lateral movement, the canine guidance uh, maintaining them would be preferable choice. In the model, using this, the you can have lateral movement. Looking at the uh, maxillary um, movement, uh, you can make adjustment in the working side. There is a contact to implant. You have to make adjustment. So you have to, in other words, uh, remove the interference. Next is about the occlusal uh, scheme based on group function. This means that on the working side, the mandibular and maxillar has a lot of uh, contact in lateral movement. The T that comes in contact in lateral movement uh, disperses the occlusal force. So canine, those with canine guidance as they age, often uh, switch to group function. So number four is missing, and number five, three, and five 
had lateral movement. So, in case of this group function, the lateral side the disclusion is not sufficient. So, if the patient has group function, then you have to take a full mouth impression and you mount it to semi-adjustable articulator for adjustment. You need to use this type of articulator to in the model to adjust the working side and non-adjust uh, working side. So the adjustment uh, step will be first, you have to adjust this central side to lower what is high and then you uh, remove the uh, lateral interference. Uh, you have severe abrasion, so you see horizontally a lot of abrasion, which shows that the uh, horizontal grinding is domestication pattern. There's no anterior guidance. So in the lateral and the anterior movement, you see posterior is coming to a close contact. There's a fraction, so there's also a lot of load put in the teeth also. So vertically, if there's a mastication, then on the non-working side, you see there's also contact. For this non-working side contact, is something that has uh, been forming for a long time and a patient has adjusted well, so you cannot really call this interference. For this patient in the uh, canine restoration, ideal canine guidance was used. Would he adjust very well? Some people do, but mostly complain the muscle uh, mastication pattern becomes confused and although this focused uh, targeting the restored teeth, so patients find that very uncomfortable. And because uh, he was very uncomfortable, we switched to the original mastication uh, pattern. If there's no re region pain or other things, it's important to uh, maintain patient pattern. Now, incisor guidance. Here, the, you know, in occlusion force management is important. So you have to avoid load. This is female patient and there's lack of bone on number 12. So it was very hard for aesthetic implant restoration. So finish with the cantilever crown. And on the uh, maxilla side, aesthetic is important. So you have to make uh, right adjustment uh, for occlusion for uh, both sides, upper and lower. So compared to adjacent uh, natural chin number 21 guidance, we had some time difference so that the collision or slightly supports guide. If it doesn't contact to the pontic, that's important because um, it could distort the occlusion. For this patient, he didn't want the implant. So on the mandibular side, we look the laminidivir cantilever prosthesis. So in domestication, doesn't have a uh, horizontal chewing. Sometimes you do this approach. So with the primitives and using the check by uh, the laminated and pontic side, I make sure it didn't come into contact. So there is nothing coming contact to the new prosthesis. Mastication can be maintained. So fine, the patient had no discomfort. So implant prosthesis. Uh, try to avoid giving too much stress and maintaining patient chewing pattern is important. So to avoid a fraction, anterior guidance, if it assigned more, what happens? You know, if it's a, a complementary adjustment, it would be good. So what would happen? So patient recovered to his original chewing pattern and he found that very nice. If there is Muscle and joint fighting, muscle will win. And muscle teeth um, fighting, muscle will win. So m maintaining chewing pattern is the way to protect the muscles and the teeth of the patient. This is the immediate loading uh, case, so there is no posterior here. So you can see anterior was uh, uh, in, under a lot of st uh, stress. For the long-term uh, implant stability, position and pass is very important. After extraction, after initial drilling, guide pin was used and tip folder was taken.
to we tried to re have a, a lot of uh, focal side and palata was spread to for the depth uh, control took photo after uh, mounting uh, this and we checked um, every angle as well as the depth so it's the screw hole i tried to uh, come in as a palette side and you see the buckle gap in the buckle gap xeno grafting was done and healing abutment was connected and there's a lot of scallop so 10 millimeter healing abutment was used and buckle uh, gingiva side the lowest gum line four millimeters implant top was exposed so you see super eruption on the 41 so you can see a closure adjustment in there would be necessary after placement a panorama was taken and ct and pa photos and after three months uh, impression was taken and coping and abutment was connected and uh, see whether it's uh, no under CT and PS well connected. Those things are checked. And using your finger net with the natural seeds and implant, you feel the free mortis there and the maximum constipation, there is no occlusion and the anterior initial movement, the guide comes firm to the natural teeth. And in, then the guide is slightly uh, helped, and that's how occlusion was adjusted. So it's better to avoid natural, there to being uh, too much natural force. So when you cannot uh, give guide to the adjacent natural teeth, what you do, if it's before extraction, you take, make a model and use that to create final prosthesis. If you don't have record before extraction, if we had to readjust the guide, then provisionals uh, can be used first, and you copy that to create the final prosthesis. Now, on the lower side, anterior lateral movement can be recorded using the customized anterior guidance table, and that can be used to create final prosthesis. So diagnostic model or stable temporary are mounted on the articulator, and the table touching the pin, putty uh, resin is put in, and there, forward and lateral uh, movement are 3D recorded. That record shows that the upper and lower, uh, if there is uh, anything changed, uh, the movement can be recreated. Due to inflammation, teeth uh, central incisor had to be uh, taken out. And there's apicotomy, and you can see there is a region. So on the CT side, uh, you see also region. And you see, uh, because there was inflammation after you could not do immediate loading, uh, so we waited for three two months before implant placement. And TS4 4.0 implant was placed on number two, and contour augmentation was done. Now, panorama was taken, if possible, to, uh, I tried to uh, make it easy as possible. CT section photo, number 12 and 22. So these days, digital design uh, program can be used and virtual articulator can be used to set the lateral movement. In this case, mandibular was restored first and the opposing T uh, scan data on the upper side was uh, there, so I used it as the exit model, and I requested a to make a, a copy of that. So the screw hole uh, direction was uh, on the central side, so combination uh, type could be used. So occlusion in the MI side, the check line was slightly sliding, and lone centric was given so that uh, there could be a bit of uh, freedom. Uh, in other cellular anterior uh, guidance. So it's better uh, not to give much uh, a load to the uh, prosthesis. So before setting the prosthesis, the primate uh, was used for checking and adjusted anything that uh, hindered. And again, I tried to maintain shallow anterior guidance. So bilateral balance occlusion Sometimes used for restoration. The even one side of the arch, if there's a denture or if it's IP requiring support or soft tissue, you need bilateral balanced um, occlusion. 
So this is over denture case. On the upper side, existing denture would be used. So, so I took impression and did a Facebook transfer. Uh, fixed level, a uh, full denture, uh, wax sub is, uh, also t uh, taken and the teeth was aligned based on these. So we I made adjustment orally and saw whether occlusionally and also aesthetically it was okay. First conventional denture, I would let flux steer and switch uh, wax to resin. But now the, to create bar over denture, the wax area bar uh, needs to uh, be replaced with a uh, bar and a frame. So uh, I create an index, record the teeth uh, positions and uh, in the wax area, bar and frame was created. A paper bar was created and clip was also placed. Now, frame was created and final denture was created. So, not only on the central side, lateral and prostitution movement, uh, denture uh, needs to be stable. So, in non-working, working and other uh, positioning, I, I checked everything to make sure the occlusion was okay. So in summary, first, if possible, patient's medication pattern needs to be maintained. Implants uh, only act as a support of the guide and it, um, it removes interference from the working and non-working side. Uh, if the a guide needs to be implanted, it should be shallow guidance and patient uh, need to have the right uh, occlusion pattern uh, or occlusion scheme fitting to the patient. So um, I would like to conclude my uh, lecture here. Maintain mastication uh, pattern in doing your implant and occlusion force on the implant needs to be uh, distributed uh, for the long-term stability. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.